Hi, in this video, we'll see the another part of formatting that is nothing but alignment. So how do we work on the alignment parts? Let us see that same workbook formatting, same database that is global superstore 2017 and I'm on the second sheet that is alignment. So for alignment, I should have some data. So I'll just pick up the data as market here in this place. I'll pick up the order priority and third one, I'll pick up the sales and put into the text, right? Now, this is the data which I'll be doing an alignment on right now, if you see it is compact form i'll just try to make it lower on the right hand side it expands so i'll just expand it on the right hand side expand at the bottom that is done so i i don't need right now in this example pages filters and marks so what i'll do is i'll hide everything select on this drop down hide card select on the drop down hide card hide card so now it is easy for me so what what i want to do is i want to do the alignment you have to go to this format menu bar click on this alignment and you'll get this format alignment pane itself if you want to jump to the font you can just click on the first one that is format font if you want to go to the second one it says format alignment right now if you see default it says for sheets rows and columns so default for pane which exactly is the pane if you see the numbers wherever the numbers are written these are nothing but panes if i click on this drop down observe if i keep on changing the horizontal alignment here in the left hand side so it came on the left hand side if i select the right hand side alignment if you see it came on the right hand side it is only working into this particular pane itself same way if i select the vertical alignment top bottom and you know this one if i select the bottom one it will come down if i select the middle one it will come in the middle if you observe only the numbers are changing not the text so only the numbers that is nothing but the pane which is changing here same way if i want to work with this headers part if i click on this drop down and i'll be working with this headers so if i click on the left hand side the headers if you see it has come on the left hand side right hand side left hand side right hand side so this headers and also in this place column headers and row headers both are changing at this place if i want to change the direction of my headers i can select this direction if you see it's a left hand direction right hand vertical direction it will come in this place right so this three are directions and the vertical and horizontal alignment next i have the total pane so if i select this total pane i should have some total at this place uh, first of all i'll just clear the format here i'll clear the alignment click on this clear button so for going into this total pane, i should have the totals which i do not have right now so i'll go to this analysis menu bar totals show row grand total that's a row grand total analysis totals and i'll select as show column grand totals so i'll get the grand totals for here now this way if i want to change the alignment of this total or this grand total i can select this option as total click on this drop down and if i select as left hand side observe the total will go on the left hand side this number sign between this grand total has come on the left hand side right hand side if you see right alignment middle alignment here it is if i say bottom middle and top so this numbers are also changing i hope you're able to see this one area also in this place same way if you want to change the direction of the totals you can use this options these are the directions which you can work on and you can say automatic wrap on automatic wrap off all these options when the text gets lengthier you can use this automatic wrap on and off itself right so this is very easy and simple part i'll just click on this clear button yeah so whichever options you keep on changing let's say for example if you change this one this will become as bold if you select this option and if you change this option here it will become as bold you see this will become as bold so whatever options are not yet been changed those will be the same thing whichever option options you change that will become as bold so right now i'll just click on clear part now if you observe here if i go to this rows now only row related options will be changing for example if i select this option as headers this will become as row headers so here if i click on this drop down and if i click on this left alignment right alignment if you see the values in the row headers are changing middle alignment middle right so these are nothing but the row headers which are given same way if i select the columns here it will say as column headers these are the column headers so i'll click on this drop down left center right left center and right so this will keep on changing so in the alignment part whatever things you want to change it's very simple and easy these are the left hand side you can see as the row row headings these are the column headings and this is nothing but the pane if you want to change you can also change the grand total alignment vertical and horizontal that's all for this video in the alignment part i hope you have understood thank you